Hey, Mark Sconti reporting. Top Jew bankster, uh-oh, blames rogue banker for his $6 million heist. Remember David Solomon? Goldman Sachs originally was Lloyd Lloyd Blankfein, the CEO for Goldman Sachs. Remember the story I told a while ago with, uh, what is it called, MB, 1MDB, the, the heist. Goldman Sachs stole $6 billion from the, uh, the, the country of Malaysia. <clears throat> Remember that? When I, when I was talking about that story and I said that Goldman Sachs would never be held accountable that they would there would be no consequence right and people say oh, you're fucking crazy of course right they stole six billion dollars no consequence so here we go <clears throat> so before I do that let's put a face on these guys who are these guys <laughs> let's catch up Now, I'm sitting and I'm thinking about Monday. I'm thinking about money. I'm excited. I'm excited. But I remember so vividly back in May 2006, your first day. And I remember how quickly it happened. I remember hearing from you over Memorial Day weekend. And then like the next day, <laughs> you were the CEO. Having now done it and looking back, what do you wish you knew that first day that you can pass on to me that will help me? Well, I think, you know, I think you have a lot of the stuff down. I could tell you what I missed. I, I wasn't used to. There was a very big gap between the attention I got the day before. These are the two guys running the show. The attention I got the day I started as CEO, and it was a very, very big chasm. I think you had. A, I think it's um, important. He he thinks he doesn't think anything. All he, all he thinks about is money. Uh, so, so those are the two guys that uh, that's that's uh, David Solomon on the left, who took the took the baton from the guy on the right, Lloyd Blankfein, right? <clears throat> two two fine gentlemen, two fine uh, Jewish New Yorkers from New York, Jewish from New York. Uh, so what so what's going on? What's what's happening? So <clears throat> so uh, uh, like I said a while ago, I'm gonna read I'm gonna read this article and then you'll understand what's going on. Goldman Sachs is sticking to its rogue banker defense as it grapples with accusations over its role in a, a widening Malaysian corruption scandal. Right, that was the scandal where they sold fake bonds. Right? Goldman Sachs, along with two guys, his name was, uh, I think is, uh, I'll get to their names, but uh, two, two guys, right? The, the other one was J. Lo. You remember the Malaysian guy, the Malaysian banker? He took off to China with a... Three billion dollars in his pocket. Oh damn! He's uh, he's on the. He, they can't find him. <laughs> he's gone. Right? He took the three billion and ran. Right. So Goldman Sachs is is now blaming right, the two guys that they employed as rogue bankers. Right. See how they're going to get out of it. Gold, Lloyd Blankfein and David Solomon. Like, and I'll, and I'll tell you, Goldman Sachs is one of the tightest ships. On Wall Street, right? There is no way that someone that they would have approved a six billion dollar bond deal uh, with with a with a, with a foreign nation without extreme due diligence. So just from the top, this is this is this is bank fraud. This is how they do it, right? Now you want to look around. You want to you want to keep chasing the swamp creatures and calling them the CIA and the FBI. When these guys are above all that, you remember the chart I made? You remember that chart a long time ago? I'm like, I can't dig it up right now. But the chart I made with with the with uh, all the branches of power, the executive branch and the judicial branch and the legislative branch. You remember that that chart I made? And then above it, above it was the uh, was all the corporations, was all the banksters, right? Was the six large banks? Remember Goldman Sachs was one of them. Right, and they stole six hundred billion dollars, right? Because they're paying off the politicians. They're above our judicial. They're above our legislative branch. These are the guys calling the shots. You just saw two of them, right? These guys got the money. So, Chief, Chief Executive David Solomon on Wednesday doubled down on his claim that Goldman's upper management got duped. By one of its own employees in arranging a dirty deal that helped fugitive financer J. Lo. J. H. O. is his name, not J. Lo, the J. Lo dancer. J. Lo siphoned away billions from the Malaysian government. 
fucking guys, man. This is a point. It's a scam, right? They, this is what they do. This is bank fraud. This is how they scam and steal. And this is how they they sink countries. Who's going to pay? They stole $6 billion from Malaysia. Malaysia is going to, I mean, they, they, they do it all over the place, you know? And people say, ah, oh, it's fucking Greece. They don't know what they're doing. No, they sign deals with guys like Goldman Sachs. Like fucking, they're everywhere, right? These banks just got to go, man. Solomon, who reportedly was involved in approving Solomon, right? The, the main guy, the C, the current CEO. Took it took the throne from Lloyd Blankfein. Why did why did Blankfein suddenly resign because of this this problem right here? They got a big problem. Well, maybe not. They just have a, a they're, what they're doing now is they're pushing the whole problem out. This is how they get around it. They push the problem out into the public. So see, there's nothing. There's not. There's no harm. There's nothing wrong here. No, this is this is just the way banksters do business. This is this is business. That's all it is. Right? There's nothing to see here. Oh, we have a couple of rogue bankers and we're going to get rid of them. No, that's. That's how they. That's how they're trying to, a get out of the the crime that they just committed, right? Which is f fraud. They they set up, and and the other one is to set it up for the next time, so that you say, oh yeah, it was just a rogue banker, just a rogue banker. So Solomon, who reportedly was involved in approving some of Goldman's involvement with the fund, some of it. How about all of it? Reiterating that ex-Goldman uh, banker Tim Lesner, that's the guy, Tim Lesner had lied to his bosses at Goldman about the existence of intermediaries in the deal to raise $6 billion for Malaysia's uh, 1MDB Infrastructure Development Fund. Right? It was a fake fund. Right? The, the money, they took the money, half the money they gave back to the Malaysian uh, uh minister the government it was, it was a fraud the whole thing was a fraud and the other half uh low took and ran off to china goldman still made 800 million dollars on the deal goldman sachs made 800 million dollars on the deal right they they were the underwriter right so low is basically using the credibility of goldman sachs to pull off the scam right in fact the key intermediary was low this is dave solomon blaming the other guy blaming the the, so so Lowe, just to clarify, Lowe has already been indicted in a Brooklyn court. And they, they can't get him. He's already in China. He took off to China with $3 billion. <laughs> uh, they, they'll, they'll never find that guy, right? They don't want to find him. They want him to go away, right? Because they'll, they'll, never, they'll never find him, right? And the other guy, Lesner, just uh, as a background, I'll continue. Uh, Lesner, the other guy that was caught, paid simply paid a fine. He was also indicted in, in a Brooklyn court. And he paid $38, billion, uh, $38 million, right? So they stole, between him and Lowe, they stole $300, uh, $3 billion. And, and, and Lesnar got off paying $38 million. Still is allowed to live in the country. Is a free man. Paid a fine, right? No, there's no criminal charge. There's nothing. That's it. It's like they, they, they steal this big pile of money and they give back a little bit, right? And where's the regulators, right? We'll talk about that in a second, too. So, so the key intermediary, this is, this is Solomon blaming Lowe. Uh, the key intermediary was Lowe. What is an intermediary? That's bullshit, right? Every, look, to get, just to get a job at Goldman Sachs, you got to deal with, you got to go through a series of, I don't know, like 16 interviews, right? There's no way that a deal would have got, gone through without intense due diligence right this is bullshit right here the key intermediary was low who orchestrated a scheme to escape without with about half the cash to bribe government officials and fund a lavish lifestyle that included yachts basquiat paintings parties with celebrities like leonardo dicaprio and rolling the martin and and bankrolling the martin scorsese movie the wolf of wall street <laughs> that's what they did with the money they were living large right it's very clear that the people of Malaysia were defrauded by individuals, including the highest members of the prior government, Solomon said in a quarterly earnings call with investors. Tim Lesner, who was a partner at our firm, by his own admission, was one of those people. Right? So he's, taking, he's throwing the, the subordinate worker under the bus. For Lesner's role in that fraud, we apologize to the Malaysian people, he added. 
Goldman's own former Asia, Asia head also was replaced after raising concerns about working with 1MDB, according to Billion Dollar Whale, a book about the scandal. I didn't read it. I don't know what it is. Solomon admitted Goldman's own wealth management group likewise had raised red flags about Lowe. That's bullshit. Total bullshit. They didn't raise no fucking flag. They were like, they, the only flag they rose was the green flag. Give me the fucking money. Who has been indicted by, yeah, bullshit. Neither, nonetheless, Solomon on Wednesday still appeared to be making excuses for the bank's entanglement with Lowe, noting that Goldman wasn't the only bank that had been working with him. So now they're blaming the other bank. They'll blame the bank down the block. They'll blame Lowe. They'll blame Lesnar. And, and, and Goldman Sachs will, will walk again. J. Lowe's involvement in a number of transactions related to 1MDB was well known to a number of financial institutes, institutions, including us, Goldman said, Solomon said. So he's, he's admitting it. He's not admitting it. Uh, this, this is called the, this is the Wall Street Shuffle. This is like the fucking Wall Street Shuffle. That's what this is called. In fact, but dur before, during, and after the 1MDB transaction, Lowe engaged with major companies, uh, investors, and other financial institutions to acquire highly visible assets from media to real estate, right? Um, what else? There's, there's another uh, I interesting part of this. What is the government doing about it? That's the part I want to get to. Goldman's executive com executives commented on MB1 came as the bank on Wednesday reported a surprising healthy profit of two point. Oh, uh, oh, that's what we wanted to say that that um, they the Goldman Sachs already expects to pay two billion dollars in fines. Right now, they they made eight hundred million. Lowe stole allegedly stole. 300 uh 3 billion where's the other two two and a half two point eight billion dollars right <laughs> and then it's tax deductible right they, they'll just write it off that's crazy man even if they pay two billion it's nothing it's nothing i mean it's something but it's nothing you know what i mean so the wheels of justice have nearly ground to a halt when it comes to goldman sachs this is another article i found right the post the new york post to put this out the Justice Department won't likely wrap up its probe into Goldman Sachs' role in a widening Malaysia corruption scandal before April. Even as the bank told investors on Wednesday it expects $2 billion in penalties related to the mess the Post has learned. Insiders are partly blaming the delay on the government shutdown and the lingering vacancy at the top left, the top left by uh, U.S. Attorney Ger uh, General Jeff Sessions. So, so that you see, you see how they're blaming they're blaming the shutdown now. That's why oh no, you can't touch Goldman Sachs. Let's see, we got a shutdown. We got a shutdown. You can't touch Goldman Sachs. Uh, you know, with with federal government shutdown in in the twenty fifth day on Wednesday, the Goldman probe is is meanwhile a relatively low priority compared to Mueller investigation, and approving a new attorney general. What what about the FBI? What about the the SEC? They need they need the highest official to lock up Goldman Sachs. You see how revealing it is. These guys are untouchable, right? They're they're untouchable. They stole six billion dollars from a foreign nation, right? Right? And and there's no there's no consequence. No one's gonna not no one's gonna serve a single day in jail, right? They took them. They took six. They raised six billion dollars, right? Half the government, the Malaysian government got half, right? The J-Lo in, in, in China got almost half. Goldman Sachs got their $800 million, And now they're just going to give some back. And everybody's happy. That's the way it works, right? J-Lo will live his, the rest of his life in China, scot-free. I mean, Goldman Sachs would have liked to get more of that, sure. But or maybe they do. Who knows? Who knows what the underlying deal is? But this is this is the... This is the nature of, of fraud. This is the nature of, of the banking industry. The six large banks. This is not uncommon or rare. This is business as usual, right? This is business as usual. And people like someone, you know, there's people sitting in jail for, for, for a bag of white powder, you know, or, or, or carrying a weapon to protect themselves or, or uh, stealing food because they were hungry, you know. 
And that's and these guys get away with, you know, you go down to Goldman Sachs. I'll, I'll finish with the story. Yeah, I used to fly my kite over there, right? Stand by the by the water, and fly my kite. And right on the west side, where their headquarters is, two hundred West Street, in Manhattan, is this um, is this huge uh, uh, yacht yacht parking. Right? It, you go out it, it, right on the fucking. You see the Statue of Liberty in the backgrounds. It's like the it's like so beautiful, right? And you have all these this yacht this uh, dock with a with a with a with a you know, billion dollar, trillion, million, I don't know how much, how many million dollars a, a, a giant boat like that cost. But you see all these boats in there. And uh, and that's Goldman Sachs is basically, that's their backyard, right? That's how these guys are living. And then, and there's, um, you know, so, uh, you know, in a final analysis, you keep going after the swamp creatures, you keep hopium, waiting for some surprise, some some higher up, you know, impotent politician to come and save the day and arrest everybody. You're out of your mind, man. This is the swamp. Open your eyes. This is the swamp. They do this stuff right out in the open. These are the these are the these are the people stealing our our democracy. These are the people stealing our wealth. Marcus Conti reporting.